name is Jeffrey Clark, and I'm here to answer the video essay questions for week one of anatomy lecture class. Um, so the first question is talking about uh, stand, in, stand in anatomical position and explain um, the like, reason for it. So anatomical position, you're going to keep your feet facing forward. Your palms are going to be up, or not up, but like they'll be facing this way as the camera. Uh, and you're going to put them at your side, and your and your head will be facing forward like this. So it'll be something kind of like where you can see your hands are at your side and just facing forward. The reason why anatomical position is so important is to help designate what and make everything uniform when it comes to surgery, when it comes to which leg is being helped or what part of the body is being helped so that everyone knows on the same playing field is that no, there's no mix-ups with things like that. So the second question is the three major planes, the sagittal, frontal, and transverse planes. So the sagittal plane is actually the plane that runs longitudinally on the body except it separates the left half to the right half of your body. So it's like cutting straight down the middle and it'll usually like go right, it'll separate the left and right halves of the part, the left lung and right lung, the left arm and the right arm. It's just, that's this main goal. The frontal plane is the plane that is separating the front from the back. So what the frontal plane is, it'll cut longitudinally down the side of your body, separating the like front of the heart, the anterior portion of the heart to the posterior portion of the heart. Same thing with the um, anterior portion of the head to the posterior portion of the head um, and so forth. Then you have this the transverse plane, which is basically a horizontally cut plane that separates the, su the superior to the inferior portions of the body. So I'm going to use a piece of paper to demonstrate what this may look like. So I'm guessing I'm just going to use it on myself. So like when it comes to looking on my head, the sagittal plane just imagine this thing as straight as possible. You're going to be cutting your like your head. It would be separating the left from the right, like kind of like that. Then you have the frontal plane, which is from the side of the head. It'll actually be separating it from the front to the back, like so. And then this the, the transverse plane is actually like I'm going to use it on my abdomen right here. And you're just going to like basically it's a horizontally cut plane that's like cutting right across and separating the bottom portion of my body to the top portion of my body. Um, so the next question is asking, so what's the point of homeostasis to find that? So homeostasis is like the balancing act in our body to help keep our body stable with so many different things. Um, it's like to not pre to prevent us from being too overheated, to be too freezing. It's like keeping us in the balance of things. So like imagine a scale, our body's constantly weighing two different things and making sure that we're even on the same um, field. So a couple of these organ systems that I want to explain is first, so I want to think about the urinary system. So the urinary system is there to help excrete waste and um, level out our pH to be more um, stabilized at seven instead of like being too acidic or too basic. Um, so the urinary system will actually, during its time, like take waste that our body doesn't need that could possibly weigh our tip our pH scale and other things to and excrete that out so that we can then um, be balanced with our pH system and a few other things. And then I want to think about the digestive system. So whenever we're active, we use up our energy, which is our carbohydrates, our proteins, and our fats, our macronutrients. So we have to continue to replenish those. Well, our digestive system will then take that food and restore what has been used um, to where, from where it was used from. So like if our legs are heavy in use one day, like we need to restore food of like carbohydrates and all that stuff, our body's going to take that, use that to restore our energy so that we're not just like, um, like can't move or anything like that. However, it can be overdone. I mean, say it's just not perfect, but we can always have um, too much of the effect. So like, let's say we're, eating a lot, a lot more than we need. So that's where the idea of weight gain comes in because our homeostasis is taking all that energy, are taking all that and just continuing to pack it on so that we begin to um, gain weight instead of just use the, month, use the energy that we needed to replace the energy that was used. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you.